This week on Winchester Deadly Passion. When you think of early season hunting, well, one of the very first things that come to mind is heading off to Colorado. It's one of the locations that I like to start off my season because it's such incredible hunting. Now this year, I've got a tag for both antelope and mule deer. This is a place that I've come year after year. I hunt with Joey Menegatti and his family, and it is absolutely incredible. It's like family coming out here. See this little guy grow up. Bella's been hunting with us for years. Isn't that cool? Give me five. Well, we're out here this morning in Colorado. It's opening day. We're just out glassing for deer. Joey has not done his job. He doesn't know if he has any deer, but the good news is Joey always has deer. Is that right? Yeah, well, she said we always got the deer. I mean, they're here. Don't worry about it. We yeah. already saw a few. You didn't see Oh, them. that's right, yeah. Can't see a Good thing, thing though. <laughs> <laughs> he made me move. I know, but now I can't see. <laughs> well, over the years, it's been a blast hunting with Melissa. She's been out here for seven years, and she's been successful for five years. She's killed five deer with us. We're mule deer hunting in the morning, coming in around 10, and Melissa's hopping in a blind till 3, 4 in the afternoon, coming back in, and we're hitting the mule deer. So we've got a busy schedule, and hopefully, we get lucky. Now I've always been a big fan of being able to hunt antelope, but for some reason I seem to always have a little trouble with it. But I've tried something new and it's been working out pretty well. I love going after antelope spot and stock. You really have to be careful. That means getting down low, using the terrain to your advantage, and I've had some incredible encounters. What a cool, cool antelope. We have been seeing this goat out here for years. It's incredible. If anybody has ever tried spot and stocking antelope with a bow, it is not easy. And to take a big, old, mature buck like this, wow, what an awesome deal. And to this day, it's still one of the coolest antelope I have ever shot. And it was one of my first spot and stock antelope, so that makes it pretty exciting. Coming up next, Stay with us right here on Winchester Deadly Passion.
This segment was brought to you by DSG Outerwear. Doing something great for women in the outdoors by outfitting with the ultimate in fit, function, warmth, and comfort in women's hunting gear. Designed specifically for women, by women. Outfitting every season from sizes extra extra small to 5XL. Visit DSGOuterwear.com to find a retailer near you. This segment was brought to you by Sportsman's Alliance, protecting hunting, fishing, and trapping while promoting our outdoor heritage. Did you know South Carolina has signed a new law that allows apprentice hunters to purchase the apprentice hunting license for an unlimited number of years? It also allows out-of-state residents to purchase a three-day apprentice hunting license. Under previous law, an apprentice hunting license could only be purchased for one year in South Carolina. By removing the limit on the number of times an apprentice license can be purchased, new sportsmen will have the opportunity to hunt under the supervision of experienced mentors until they complete a hunter safety course and can hunt alone. We snuck within 45 yards of a sleepy antelope. We did everything possible to get him to stand. I can see him, he went down over there. Look at this. Oh, this is so awesome. You know, I love hunting antelope, but when you can come out here and you can do it spot and stock, I don't care how big it is, it would be a trophy. This is a beautiful antelope. We worked hard. This has been so much fun. We're out here at Story Creek Outfitters. Just beautiful. This is my second year in a row of shooting an antelope spot and stock. And it can be fun seeing them come in the water hole, but it was really hot today. And we didn't want to sit the water hole necessarily. And so glad we got it done. Now fast forward to this year, well, we're back in blinds and as much as it's fun to hunt and see animals nice and close in blinds, it's not always that much fun sitting in those hot blinds. We had cameras all over the place. And that's one thing that I think is important is knowing what these antelope are doing. And I can't be two places at once. I can't be mule deer hunting and scouting for antelope. So I was letting my spy points do the scouting. We had pictures of antelope coming in. I sometimes think these antelope get pretty smart and think, hmm, they're at the water. I'm gonna go ahead and just stay. They'll leave by evening and we'll be all good. And we decided, you know what? This water hole's not working. Tomorrow, we're gonna move to another blind. And finally, we had some does coming in and there was a buck right with them. I shot and I just knocked him right off of his feet. Looks like a hard shot, he hasn't moved an inch. At first I thought I spined him because he dropped, but I can see it's a hard shot, I just bleed now. He never moved an inch. I had another arrow ready just in case. This is my first animal of the season. We're out here in Colorado at Story Creek. <laughs> and I placed just a perfect shot right here, heart and lungs, shooting a Matthews Prima with a Rage Broadhead, the hypodermic NC with Axis Arrows, and this combination knocked this goat straight off his feet. Perfect heart and lung shot, bled out right there, just an awesome setup. I thought I'd spine him, but it dropped him right there in his track, so much force at a close range, and it was pretty incredible. And the good news is, well, now my antelope tag was filled, so now we can put all our efforts on deer and trying to get a beautiful buck spot and stock. 
Early season mule deer is one of my favorite hunts. These mule deer are in velvet, so they're just absolutely gorgeous this time of year. Um, this year we've had a ton of moisture and we've got a lot of acorns and the grass is super tall, so it's gonna be challenging this year. Years past, we've been fighting a drought. Things have been short. This year, it's gonna be tough spotting some of these deer. This segment was brought to you by Boss Buck. For the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market, choose Boss Buck Feeders. Now you're getting serious. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Winchester, the American legend. Silencer Central, silencers made simple. Get better blood trails and quicker kills with Easton Axis Arrows. HHA Sports. Range. Dial. Shoot. Scent Killer Gold with Hunt Dry Technology Plus. Apply it, dry it, and go hunt. Rage Broadheads. Leading the evolution in lethal technology. Spy Point. The mobile scouting solution. Sportsman's Alliance. Protecting hunting, fishing, and trapping in all 50 states. Moose Utility Division, your leader in ATV and UTV accessories. Shoot United, make the shooting sports a part of your life. Cold Steel, anytime, anywhere. Hunt Stand, the number one hunting app in the world. And these other fine sponsors. There was one buck in particular that we had seen on numerous occasions. We watched him come down to the food plots. We knew this was a cool, tight rack buck, something totally different than what I had shot last year. And one of the things when you go out there, I never want to get my heart set on one particular buck because you really just have to be smart about it and go with what the best opportunity is. We were close. We saw the bucks on the other side. We marked a tree. We're coming around, we're hopefully gonna just cut them off. We looked up and maybe 75 yards, there all our big bucks go. The three that we wanted, all were in that group, that white tail buck, the big three point, and the one with the splits on them. Well, we tried all sorts of things. We set up blinds. We actually went and hid in the trees one evening, hoping they were gonna pop over the edge and go back down to the food plots, and none of it worked. We put in our time, we saw a deer, but they would either go behind us, they'd go in front of us, or they'd just wait till it was dark and then move their way over. So at this point, I was starting to feel like we have been outsmarted, but you just have to be in the right spot. And we would sit there glassing and we would see so many deer. I mean, I'm talking an incredible number of bucks, but just never could get in close enough. She really likes to carry things out you know, uh, five, six day hunt. She doesn't really start hunting until about the seventh day. I just never figured this out about her, but I like to shoot stuff on the first, second day, and she just likes to drag it on out. I think she's sightseeing and taking pictures most of the time. And finally, the last day we thought, you know what, we're gonna get aggressive, we're gonna go after these deer, and we set up and something hurt us, who knows what happened, deer never came through, and I thought, it's over. So we're heading back to the truck, and I am not joking, as we're walking, there's a buck bedded super close. The big buck that we have been after this entire time. And I knew we only had one option to get to him, and I told Melissa, I said, let's just go straight at him, let's see what happens, and sure enough, we get in tight. And all of a sudden, it's like, this is going to happen. I can't even believe it. This buck is in his bed, and I'm kind of sneaking up, sneaking up, got to make sure that I've got a shot. A lot of the oak brush is a lot higher. And I got to a place where I felt confident, nice, close shot.
This segment was brought to you by Matthews Archery. Elevate your archery experience with premium compound bows, accessories, apparel, and branded goods. Visit MatthewsInc.com to learn more. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Winchester, the American legend. Matthews Archery. DSG Outerwear, doing something great. Fleet Farm, built for real life. Nocturnal, bright, long-lasting, string activated. Walkers, protect it or lose it. Safari Club International, first for hunters. Bog, engineered for the unknown. Boss Buck, for the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market. Reinhardt, the best archery targets in the world. Winchester, the American legend. And these other fine sponsors. This segment was brought to you by Safari Club International. First for hunters. Show your hunter pride by joining today at safariclub.org. Yeah, these deer don't see any pressure, to be honest with you. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but uh, we just went to them and, and we got within 16 yards and they, they didn't care, they didn't mind us. I couldn't believe we actually got in that tight on them. And I got to a place where I felt confident, nice close shot. I got to full draw, kind of rose up, and as I did that, this buck stood, and I took the shot right as he was leaving. Wow. I've never been that close to a deer for that long. <laughs> And just not him standing, I mean, he's looking straight at us. I mean, the, the, the oak brush is so tall, I could not shoot him until right then. And, you know, I'm a little slower than him. He wheeled out, but. Well, we're gonna give him a little time right here. Hit him a little bit further back than I wanted, but this deer took off, and I couldn't even believe it. Oh, he's a nice buck. He's a good buck. He's a cool deer. <laughs> We're gonna give him a little bit of time. We went in after him and I was actually able to get a second shot on him. It's been pretty good, easy tracking. You can see his prints, he's been going pretty fast. He started kind of walking, going uphill here. But we've gone maybe 80 yards, had good blood the whole way. It's getting to be more and more as we go. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we did it. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you what, when we saw this deer, and I shot the last morning of the last day. I wasn't even positive it was one of the deer we've been watching. I was just so pumped at a shooter and we got a shot. And coming up on it, it's that big three that we've been after. I got to look at the footage. Oh, this is awesome. An awesome buck. And I don't care what kind of buck you get out in Colorado or anywhere for that matter. When you are spotting stock hunting deer with your bow, it's tough. Oh, look at this. That is awesome. What a buck. Oh my goodness, look at the frame on this. Just a beautiful mule deer. Oh, he is cool. He's a big three by three. We got footage of him all week. Yeah. He was with a bigger group and we have tried so hard. Spot and stock mule deer hunting is probably one of the hardest things. Plus, it's, it's the first I mean, hunt of the season. You know, yeah, we're all rusty. We're trying to, <laughs> trying to get back into it. Oh, know. awesome. You know, we just literally kept after it. It's one of those things where you try things and you have no luck on your side and you think, well, we're just going to keep after it. And we did. This year's been, uh, I don't know, this year's been tougher, it feels like, with the spot. I think we're getting old. Do you think that's what it is? I, think so. I was going to say all the rain and the hot, tall grass and all the extra well, that's stuff. That's true, too. <laughs> you're going to get let down. You're going to make mistakes. But the thing is to keep going, to keep after it. And this was a hunt that absolutely proved it. A beautiful, high rack muley, just incredible. And to be able to fill my antelope tag and my buck tag in the exact same trick two years in a row, well, to me, that's a pretty big accomplishment. 
And I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to top this off next year, but for now, I'm just going to enjoy the moment. You know, we're out here at Story Creek Outfitters, and this is, I think, my seventh year. And I've shot five big bucks. To go five for seven, it's absolutely incredible. And there's no question, it's because we just don't quit. You know, I almost shot a kind of a smaller buck. And I thought, you know, I can't get a big buck every year, but you know how I make sure I don't get a big buck every year? Shoot a small buck, so. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I figured, you know what? We got it figured out. We're gonna keep after it. And well, we it, cut it close this year. Well, you cut it close this year. I, she was on several bucks. She <laughs> cut it close. I did cut Last it close. Last day, ninth inning. Awesome. Good Way job. to go. Congratulations. Oh, what a beautiful deer. It takes a spark to light the fire. This segment is brought to you by HuntStand, the number one hunting app in the world. Everything you need, all in one app. Precision mapping tools, custom map options, offline mapping, track wind and weather, real 3D. Landowner information nationwide and public hunting lands near you. Closed captioning is brought to you by Spy Point Trail Cameras. Stunning picture quality combined with leading cellular technology will keep you instantly in the loop right from your phone.